President Biden says he doesn't believe China will take additional action as it escalates tensions following House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's visit to the self-governing island of Taiwan, which China claims as its own. Listen to this. I'm not worried, but I'm concerned that they're moving as much as they are. But I don't think they're going to do anything more. All right, let's discuss with Democratic Congressman Raja Krishnamurthy of Illinois. He's a key member of the House Intelligence Committee. He also joined the House Speaker Nancy Pelosi on her controversial visit to Taiwan. Congressman, thanks so much for joining us. These Chinese military drills that are ongoing right now mark a significant escalation. Is it a mistake for President Biden to suggest that China is going to stop uh, at this show of force? Uh, no, not necessarily. I think he's correct. Um, I think that this is irresponsible and uh, it's reckless of the, the PRC to do what it's doing. Uh, but they did this long before we visited Taiwan and they're doing it again now. But it's so important that we have visited Taiwan because in light of Ukraine, it's especially important to make sure that what happened in Ukraine does not happen in Taiwan. And we have to stand shoulder to shoulder with the Taiwanese uh, and other partners in the region against any aggression by the Chinese Communist Party. You say that in China's view, Congressman, there would never be a good time for your trip to Taiwan. But this has certainly given China the excuse it needs to set a more dangerous status, a more dangerous status quo. Do you and the House Speaker bear some responsibility for putting the national security of Taiwan potentially at greater risk? No, and I think that if you ask the Taiwanese whether it was a good idea for us to visit them, they would uh, answer 100% yes. And you only have to look at the thousands of people that greeted Speaker Pelosi and our delegation at the airport at midnight and along the streets of Taipei as we came into town. These folks, Wolf, are just isolated uh, by um, uh, the rest of the world right now. Uh, the Chinese Communist Party is threatening and threatening them every day. This is one of the freest democracies on earth. And so us being there was a powerful uh, symbol of our uh, unity with the Taiwanese people as they try to protect themselves. And um, that's very important to them. How do you respond to concerns, Congressman, that by taking this trip, the House Speaker undermined longstanding U.S. policy on Taiwan? Oh, it's absolutely incorrect. Uh, under the Taiwan Relations Act, we have an obligation to support the self-defense of Taiwan. And we also have an obligation to uh, make sure that we have the capacity ourselves, our forces, to resist any force or aggression by the People's Republic of China. And we believe uh, in the Taiwan Relations Act, along with the joint communiques and the six assurances and other uh, joint um, uh, agreements made with the People's Republic of China with regard to Taiwan. But at the end of the day, it's about calm and stability across the Strait of uh, the across the Taiwan Strait. And um, right now it's the People's Republic of China that's destabilizing that region, not the Taiwanese. Let me also, while I have you, Congressman, get your reaction to the Senate passing this sweeping climate tax and health care bill. Will this be enough for Democrats to overcome some serious hurdles in the upcoming midterm elections and maintain control of the House? I don't know, but it's the right thing to do, Wolf. You know, this Inflation Reduction Act does so many good things. You know, it obviously it lowers carbon emissions. Um, it lowers prescription drug prices. Uh, it lowers the deficit. It lowers um, premiums on the Obamacare exchanges, and over time it lowers inflation. And I was talking to my constituents over the weekend, Wolf, and they are excited about what's in there. And I think that uh, the politics takes care of itself if we do the right thing, and passing this legislation is the right thing. Congressman Raja Krishnamurthy, welcome home. Thanks so much for joining us.